John Terry was an ever-present in the Chelsea team in that early 2000s. He's won Premier League titles with them. He's won Champions League titles with them. He potentially could have won more, but he slipped and had that fateful penalty in Moscow against Manchester United. Today, we are going to rebuild and remake the career of John Terry. He's going to be back at Chelsea. He's going to be 18 years of age. How will his career pan out a second time around? Will he be as successful? Will he manage to lift a trophy with England? Will he captain either team? Who knows? Let's get into it and take a look at John Terry back at Chelsea aged 18. So here is John Terry back at Chelsea. He is 18 years of age, ready to start his career a second time around. Really nice physicals actually on JT. Really good natural fitness. Really good strength at 17. 6 foot 2, 90 kilos. He's got some good player traits as well. Marks opponents tightly, winds up opponents. He definitely did do that. Looks for the pass rather than attempting to score. Gets the crowd going. Stays back at all times and likes to switch the ball to the wide areas. Now obviously JT was very good for Chelsea and I'm looking to see how he goes up goes on and gets about it a second time around in his career if you're new around here this is the save where we remake people we simulate forward 5 10 15 and 20 years into the future to see how their career pans out a second time around let me know down in the comments if you think jt will stay at chelsea we've only had a few of these where the player has stayed at the club the entirety of their career he obviously was chelsea captain let me know if you think he would stay there the entirety of his career a second time around but without any further ado let's simulate these first five years so guys here we are five years into the future and john terry has had a very promising start to his career a second time around he still finds himself at chelsea he now has 29 caps for the england national team no 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 goals actually but he is a center back so nothing too serious to worry about there technically he's looking pretty darn good some of his attributes i will say his corners is dribbling probably a little bit higher than you would expect but that is fmb and fm given his potential range that we've given him in this particular simulation his headings really improved his markings pretty good his tackling's pretty decent as well mentally he is very good that leadership has bumped up obviously down to his professional personality and stuff like that uh nice in terms of his jumping reach his natural fitness is now at 19 out of 20 so very good there this strength has gone up as well and some of his player traits have changed as well some of them have probably probably been coached out of him a little bit but in terms of everything it looks like he's been pretty good at Chelsea so far uh, 127 appearances for them over the course of five years in the Premier League six goals and five assists for JT looking like over the last three seasons he's been a pretty much a mainstay in this Chelsea team 35 out of obviously the 38 appearances in that Premier League during that time though has he managed to win any trophies let's take a look carabao cup runners up in that first season europa league winners with chelsea in 2023 uh, also Super Cup runners up as well. First international cap against Gibraltar, age 20. Champions League runner up. And there it is, a Champions League victors medal. Now he's definitely had one of these. He's probably in that starting lineup. He does win against uh, Manchester City in this final. He doesn't start. Does he not start? That's crazy if he doesn't start. Chelsea stats. He does not start. Is he on the bench? No. So that means he must have been injured for this Champions League final, but gets himself a Champions League winner's medal. Nonetheless, no slipping over in the penalties this time around for JT. Looks like he has been injured, but he does secure himself a Champions League winner's medal. In terms of some of the other awards, guys, it looks like he is just winning uh, player of the month and, you know, player of the seasons like that in, in the Premier League. So I'm not going to go too far ahead with it. Uh, UEFA Champions League defender of the season runner up to Reese James who is also obviously at Chelsea. So he's done he's done he's done pretty well there. Obviously got himself a Champions League winners medal. He is injured. Yes, he is injured. So he's got a hip injury. Uh, suffered in their draw against Leeds on the 2nd of May. So yeah, that's why he missed the Champions League final, but he still gets his hands on a medal. We're going to simulate forward five more years into the future now, 10 years into this re-simulation of John Terry's career. Let's see how he's looking then. So then 10 years into this re-simulation, John Terry 
is still a Chelsea player. 77 caps for England now, including five goals. Looking really, really nicely uh, in terms of his attributes. He's now a model professional. Now, obviously, we are just talking about his on-pitch antics here. None of the on-off-pitch uh, indiscretions like sleeping with his uh, teammate's partner. Um, he's still looking very, very good. Um, and I'm enjoying John Terry here. I think he looks very, uh, very exceptional. An elite-tier defender, you probably would say. 28 years of age now in this re-simulation. 55 appearances in that most recent season. 12 appearances in the Champions League. Have they won yet another one? In terms of his career stats, obviously he is that ever-present in that Chelsea back line, as you kind of would expect. 307 appearances for him now in the Premier League alone throughout the course of this re-simulation. So he is doing really, really well. If we go in terms of the competitions, how have they been getting on? So some of these we've seen already. The Champions League win we've already seen. They won the Super Cup that following year as well. First international goal came against Kosovo. Uh, then he's been a Carabao Cup winner, a Europa League runner-up, an uh, Emirates FA Cup runner-up. They won the Euros with England in 2028, which is nice to see. Fair play to the boys there, getting that uh, one over the line. He's also won the South American European Super Cup that they are supposedly introducing next, uh, next year in real life. UEFA Nations League winners again with England there, uh, securing that one in the 2030 season. FIFA Club World Cup runner-up and then Community Shield runner-up. In terms of some of his other awards, it's just Premier League Team of the Weeks. I'm going to leave it until the end of the video to see if he does make it into any of these um like world 11s or anything like that you'd like to think a player of this caliber would do but i'm not going to count my chickens just yet it looks like he's uh ever present at um hold on if we go into his landmarks chelsea debut senior club goal he is chelsea captain as of the 2028 season so three seasons ago he was appointed chelsea captain and he is now all in charge to see how he can guide them maybe over the next 10 years let's get forward 15 years into the future to see how jt is doing so he is now 33 years of age but john terry is still a chelsea player club captain and international legend 138 caps for england still only the five goals but he is a centre back at the end of the day not to be uh too worried about mentally he looks exceptional 16 for leadership 17 determination really really nice physically still age 33 i'm not worried about him in the slightest he looks great um i think he think he ha looks like he's had a very good career if we go into his career stats again still that ever present i can't really touch on him too much because he's not a goal scorer he is a elite tier defender so just the fact that he's returning a 7.33 average rating over the course of his career goes to show how good a player JT can be. Um, I'm very impressed with him in terms of his uh, achievements and competition wins. Has he picked up anything else? No um really uh he's got himself uh since we were last here which would have been 2031 uh he's won the euros again with england fair enough back to back euros there europa league runner up again seems like chelsea a bit of a the bit of the bridesmaid never the bride here runners up again in something else here uefa nations league runners up uh club world cup runners up he's won himself a carabao cup now third place at the world cup with england and then england win the nations league again a little bit of bouncing around here but a couple of nations league trophies he seems like he's been a little bit more successful actually for England than he has been for Chelsea he's somehow been played at left back please don't tell me you're playing him at left back he's played five games at left back for Chelsea hmm don't know how I feel about that uh 15 years in still a good player not a left back in my opinion let's skip forward to the end of John Terry's career to see if he stays at Chelsea the entirety of of his career he's 38 years of age this is the end of this john terry career re-simulation we've still got five years to recap so don't click off the video too early but he is now about to retire a psg player over the course of the last two years his contract was expiring at chelsea they did not renew him so chelsea have let him go he has been signed by psg he's had two years at paris saint germain and i think he looks he still looks pretty good i mean he's still got 14 pace for a man who's 38 i think is really really good he's almost a double centurion for england just needs that one more cap 199 caps for jt there um but all in all i think he looks pretty good there is that free transfer over to psg over 
over to Liga. Has he been able to win some more trophies since he's been there? I would have liked to have seen him be a one club man throughout the course of this save, but I can understand um, if your contract's not being renewed by your team, going somewhere and you know if PSG is the only destination that's kind of all we can do he's won the trophy de champion is that it since being at PSG they've not won Liga they've not got anywhere near the Champions League we've got to have a little look at this now Liga Uber Eats let's click on that so AS Monaco have won it for the last three years no sign of a PSG title in terms of some of the other awards and he looks like he's banks around getting team of the weeks and stuff like that he's obviously done okay for England as well let's dive into some of these world awards then and see if I can find if he has won anything let's go into world and let's go I need to find this oh award winners there we go uh, I assume by this, uh, nowhere near the goal 50, as you kind of would expect. Ballon d'Ors are all obviously going to be difficult for central defenders to come across. Like, it looks like, for the most part, we have strikers here, and then most recently it's all new gens, but it looks like Kylian Mbappe and Mo Salah have put their stamp on this award for the time being. The one for me... Has he been anywhere near this FIFA Pro World 11 throughout the course of all seasons? No. John Terry has not made it. Ruben Diaz and Josco Aguardio are the two centre-backs holding things down. And Dale Upamecano is the centre-back on the bench. Which is weird considering the amount of appearances that he has. It looks like JT has had a good career. But somehow not making it into that World Eleven, despite averaging a 7.33 rating throughout the course of his career. But we're done with this one now. Let me know down in the comments who you would like to see me remake next time. And there is a playlist popping up on the screen right now so that you can check out all the players that we have already done in this series. Until next time, guys, take care.